of course not. Hey everyone, Luke Dog here, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Right now I'm Vermeer. Time to meet up with the Solarian team, but first we gotta take care of some AA guns. I see a lot of red spots. Look at these things. Huh. You lead, I'll follow. These are interesting little creatures. Huh. Okay, anyway. Excuse us. Come through. Don't mind us. Told that you get more experience out inside the Mako than you than actually killing with the Mako. It's kind of weird since some of these people are so strong that you'd prefer using the Mako to take them out. Ow. Rockets in here. I'm gonna get that out of the way. Nope, nope, stop backing, stop backing. Oh. I think I might have accidentally shot a rocket at him. Still getting jammed though. there I think oh. 
Oh. Got him. Hey, buddy. Oh, I got some grenades. Ah, oh, you hacked it in. Yep. There you go, Sally. Good work. Give me some space, dude. To the Mako. Oh, big red spot. And... Yep, a Colossus. Too early. Got him. Oh, I got some ready to jump on that. Take the time to level up. One thing in uh, what do we want? Sounds useful. Nope. Yaris. We'll give you one in. Soul training. Tally! We'll give you advanced marksman. Could increase your hacking.
experience. Okay. Let's go. Excuse me. There's the gun. There's our target, Commander. And here are some people. Let's get out. There you go, Tally. The AI hacking is awesome. Got some people. There must be a way to shut that gun down. It's probably up here. No, no shield. No shield for you. Shield. Stupid. Shield bad. Unless it's protecting me. Oh, do you circle around? There you are. You okay, Tally? Let's heal you up. Okay, what do we got here? Still active. I'm reading that, that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Okay, I'll meet you there. Ah. Ready to continue on your mark, Commander Shepard. You don't have to call me Commander, you know. Oh, okay. Back to the Mako. Oh, got a crate over here. I'm here if you need me. I know. What was that? Something shooting at us over there. Yes, let's get another Colossus. Let's go take. Did these guys respawn or something? Oh, I should repair. And he's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. Shepard. You can drive this. Hey! Let's go. Nope.
some tally. Okay, what are we down here? Gate controls. Another weapon blocker. Ah! Dang it. Just up ahead. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when we get here. Okay. So this might be the camp. There go the Solarian. to the camp. Find whoever's in charge and speak with them. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Let's go have a nice talk with our buddy Rex.
I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. It won't be an easy time, but we're ready when you are. Rex! He's just blowing off steam. I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? Yeah. Hey, Tally. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Oh, med station. Heavy armor for Krogan. Greetings, human. Hello. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Got armor for turning. I'll take that. And that. And how about I... S uh, no. Let me guess. I can't... Nope, there's no one else in my party. Dang it! I wanted to see if... Oh, well. Rex, buddy! Wanna have a nice little talk? This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset. But we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. Take it easy, buddy, okay? I'm trying to help you here. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools, is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing, when we find Saren, I want his head. Oh boy! Rex is convinced. He isn't happy, but at least he understands. Good boy. If we're doing this, then let's go. Oh, there you are, Liara. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. What do we got here? Codex? It's been a while. The rare Solarian females are foisted on their worlds out of tradition and respect. Powerful female Delatrasses are, are dynasts and political kingpins. They determine the political course of their respective regions through shrewd negotiation. Though male Salarians rise to positions of great authority in business, academia, or the military, they rarely have any input on politics. Due to their method of reproduction, Salarians have no concept of romantic love, sexual attraction, or the biological impulses and societal rituals that complicate human lives. Male-female relationships are rare, due to the scarcity of females, and more akin to human friendship. Sexuality is strictly for the purpose of reproduction. Ancient social codes determine who gets to fertilize eggs, which produces more daughters to continue a bloodline. 
Fertilization generally only occurs after months of negotiation between the parents' clans, and is done for purposes of political and dynastic alliance. No Salarian would imagine defining this code. Salarian names are quite complex. A full name includes, in order, the name of a Salarian's planet, duchy, barony, fiefdom, family, and finally, the given name. Wow. And you think Albus Dumbledore's full name is long. I'm surprised that Krogan yielded to your argument. I can be very persuasive. Just say the word. I'm ready to go. These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. I take you didn't he overhear our conversation. I will fight with fire for you, Commander. Just don't... Okay, just don't burn yourself. Okay, let's do a save here. Saving, saving, saving my data. It's about to assault a cloning camp and nothing's gonna go wrong. Anything back here? Nope. Okay. Okay, Captain. What's the plan? Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. I'm gonna say take Caden. Ashley, you get the important job of arming, arming the bomb. That should be fine. Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye aye, Commander. I will have the ordnance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Uh, what? Can I... Uh, are you sure you want to go with this plan, then? Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. 
These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. That's very deep for you. I want to know more about the bond. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Likewise. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Hold the line! I'm gonna bring... Hmm... Nah, I'll bring Garrus. Let's go. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Got it. Ooh, I'm in the codex. Oh, I got a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff. The Salarian government is called the Salarian Union. It's a labyrinthine web of matrilineal bloodlines with political alliances formed through interbreeding. In many ways, the Salarian political network functions like the noble families of Earth's medieval Europe. Structurally, the government consists of fiefdoms, baronies, duchies, planets, and, mar and marches, colonization clusters. These are human nicknames. The original Salarian is unpronounceable. Each area is ruled by a single Dalatras, matriarchal head of household, and represents an increasing amount of territory and prestige within the Salarian political web. Approaching 100 members, the first, cir the first circle of a Salarian's clan comprises parents, siblings, uncles, aunts, and cousins. 
The next circle includes second cousins, etc., and escalates to well over 1,000 members. The fourth or fifth circle of a clan numbers into the millions. Salarian loyalty is greatest at its first circle and diminishes from there. Their photographic memories allow Salarians, re allow Salarians to recognize all of their myriad relations. Talk about family reunions, wow. In principle, the Salarian military is similar to the Alliance, a small volunteer army that focuses on maneuver warfare. What differentiates the Salarians is not their equipment or doctrine, but their intelligence services and rules of engagement. The Salarians believe that a war should be won before it begins. Conventional wisdom holds that the Salarians know everything about everyone, and this is not far from the truth. In war, the unquestioned superiority of their intelligence services allow them to use their small military to maximum effectiveness. Well before fighting breaks out, they possess complete knowledge of their enemy's positions, intentions, and timetable. In every war the Salarians have fought, they struck first and without warning. For the Salarians, to know an enemy plans to attack and, and to let it happen is folly. To announce their own plans to attack is insanity. They find the human moral concept of do not fire until fired upon and declare a war before prosecuting it incredibly naive. In defensive wars, they execute devastating preemptive strikes hours before the enemy's own attacks. On the offense, they have never telegraphed their intentions without a declaration of war before attacking. Biotics are virtually unknown in the Salarian military. Those with such abilities are considered too valuable to be used as cannon fodder and are assigned to the intelligence services. While capable of defending themselves against most threats, the Salarians know that they are small fish in a universe filled with sharks. At a point of survival, they have cultivated strong alliances with larger powers, particularly with the Turians. Though the relationship between the two species was rocky at first due to the Krogan uplift fiasco, the Salarians take pains to keep their relationship strong enough that anyone who might threaten them risks Turian intervention. Search for ways to slow Geth defenses. While you make your way in Saren's base, keep an eye out for opportunities to sabotage the Geth defenses. Go to the main Geth base. Try to slow... Okay. Map. What do we got? Got a communication tower. Satellite uplink. Refueling platform. Let's check out this tower. You guys ready? Let's go take him out. Once we finish saving, of course. By the way, Garrus, did I get any new armor, or am I just crazy? Nope, I didn't. Give me a new assault rifle, though. Tell, he has your shotgun. Pistols? Are you a sniper? And how about me? I think I'm good. Okay, let's go. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with A. Igor team. Manovai, J. Eto team, move. Time to get some attention. Ow. Hold on, what are you guys using? Eh, it'll be fine for now. Where's some of these? There's a guy right over there. Fire is coordinated on Monovite team. We can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. Hold on. Nice. 
nice. Sorry, Terry, I didn't catch that. Lots of shotguns. Anything good for Tally? Nope. Get communication disrupted. Disrupt to the Geth communication tower. Keep looking for opportunities. Sweet! We did something useful! We helped out! So now let's go to... Satellite Uplink. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Manavai. You're welcome. There's the music. Whoa, 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 where, what? Oh. Either way. Oh, that guy's over here. Let's might, might as well take these out. Strikes. JNO, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? That's it. Sweet, that was easy. I just run satellite uplink to get defense that have been thrown into disarray. One shot. That's all it took. Krogan. Did it say Krogan? Yes, it did. Yep. Oh, you're not dead yet. Garrus, I was shooting him. Saving, saving, saving my data. Do, 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 All targets down. Sweet. I'm just gonna go up here. Let's take a right then. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Walk around Whoa. before they come back. Yeah, boy. Where are you guys going? This way, right? Yes. Okay. Hey, get back here. No, 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 no. You're not walking away from me. Yeah, come back here so I can shoot you. No, let's go this way, guys. But then we have a map. <laughs> oh boy. Let's take it out before it can go back and harass the other team. Let me heal up a little. Go 
tally. Kyuhi's team will have an easier time now that the Geth Flyers are destroyed. You're up. Research facility. So the entrance. So the entrance. Either one. Okay. Let's go. Locker. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. Hold the line. Level up. Oh wow. Disable the AA gun so no one can drop a nuke. One point. Here we 
we go. Let's go. I think we're okay for now. Here. Warehouse, maintenance, security office, storage room, labs, tension cells, lab. Security panel here. We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Salarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. By disabling the alarm, you've taken some of the heat off Kirihi's team. Their task should be much easier now. Yay! It doesn't really matter which way. Okay! Going in! Good question. Okay. Got him. Door controls. So that's it. Give you something. Tally. That shield modulator. That's fine. Hello? Is someone out there? Hi. Give a little ground, Lieutenant. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. You're not a Gath, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? 
transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Okay. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Why did Saren do this? There's just no reason. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. It calls, and I must follow. It calls, and I must follow. It never sleeps. <laughs> it is emptiness. I am only what it wants me to be. Creepy. Can we let this one out? No? Sorry, buddy. Okay. Moving on. Grunt! You once asked me when was the last time I saw a Krogan scientist? It was about five seconds ago. Until you're up, Garrus. That was easy. Ooh, no more armor for Tally. Slightly better. And it looks exactly the same. Genophage Labs. Green facility entrance. Communication tower. Maintenance, security, security. Got 
Got him. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Oh! Awkward head turning. Communication tower. Green facility entrance. Sorry. Dang it. Ready for this? Commander, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. All right. How do you work this thing? Uh, 
I understand. Still got a massive headache though. Ugh. Okay. Excuse me. Let's move on. This is not good. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them, the legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console's been disabled. Orders, Commander. Let's head to the breeding facility. 
Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Okay. Sovereign ship, I mean, Saren's ship is an actual Reaper. And we just pissed it off. I suddenly feel very small and helpless. So let's go set off this nuke. That's where we just came from, so I gotta go this way. Stop charging me! It's not nice to charge people. The Geth are turning to our position, do you? Know? Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Alenko! What? Oh, the bridge is down now. Help, guys. Air control. You gotta go there. Let's get this crate. Dang it, I was too slow. Okay, lots of biotic amps. And pistols. Ow. Dang it. Normandy will drop off the bomb as soon as the other AA gun is destroyed. Fine. Okay. Oh, hello! Got 
work on the gun shadow team. Now it's our turn. Seal you up, Tally. Trench. Landing site. Here we go. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Dang it. Is that it? Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Hold on, guys. We're almost there. Waiting for you. Hey, Joker. Hey, Ash, how you doing? in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Be right back for you, Ash. Don't worry. Once I say my game, of course. It's almost like a whirlpool. <laughs> hey guys, let's go get Kate. We're good. Let's go. Hold on, Kane. We're coming. Let's go. Go this way. Saren's experiments have to be stopped. Oh, it's this way. Yes, I'm not really in the mood to talk right now. We gotta save Caden. Great. New armor. I 
kind of like the other one. Journal. Provide backup. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Ah, great. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What are you doing, Chief? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. No. No. I'm not experiencing another Akuz. I'm getting those Solarians out of here. No one is dying. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Ash. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. No, no, it's happening. I swear. I mean, come on, it, I... I... really respect you as a woman. I... 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 I like you. Just don't die on me, please. I care deeply about our camaraderie. We're all making out it. We're all getting out of this alive. I swear. I'm not losing another person. Kill everything that isn't friendly! Diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. 
I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Well, let's see how you compare against my semi-invisible armor. It's the other way. Joker? All right, everybody, hang on! What are you doing?!
Flight Lieutenant? Can I see you in my cabin? Now? I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay. Go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision, and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. 
Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Joker was sentenced to a week in the brig. Presley had to take over as acting pilot. It was not a smooth th ride. But yeah, Ash is dead. That was an instance where you had to choose who lived, and someone had to die in your crew. Very major event. Report to the council. Ooh, we leveled up. Okay, well, we finished Vermeer. So, wait. It's the top one. So, I'm gonna end the video here for now. Next time, we'll do another rendition of Squad Talk. Then we'll head back to the Citadel, I guess. But yeah, Ash is dead. Shepard's probably not going to be taking this well. Well, until next time, if you liked this video, let me know in the comments. If you really liked it, press that cute little like button. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Luke Dog, and I'll see you next time.